been a crazy week. Um, I sold my apartment and I've moved back into my parents' house just for the short term. Um, I'm heading off today as well to California to see my missus. Beautiful Barrett. Um, gonna be here for like a month, just hanging out, celebrating her graduation from school and foiling. Got my big board bag. I kind of fit everything in the board bag this time because I'm only bringing a prone board and some foils. So I'm just doing it all in one bag. And um, yeah. <laughs> oh, <I don't> Got a spare leash, maybe. <laughs> I've got the cane tail too if you want to try that. I, actually, oh, I don't have a spare leash. Yeah, the line star, hey. Yeah. Alright. music came on. What so what? What um what have we got here? Is it unique conditions for San Diego or? Um, it's definitely unique conditions because normally we got south wind with north swell in the winter time. So because it's springtime, we have semi south south southwest swell with south wind, southwest wind. So bumps and wind is going the proper direction, which is not normal. Yeah. Uh, it looks fun. It looks like even a total downwind cook like me should hopefully yeah. be able to at least do a shore runner. <laughs> so if you don't fall, how long do you do? You, that's a thing. And if you fall, how long does it take? <laughs> and what's the worst and best case scenario here? It depends how uh, it depends how fast you can walk, dude. <laughs> so no, but there's a so the run that we're doing is um from. Uh, seaside Reef yep. down to Swarmies, yep. which is what? How, how many miles do you reckon that is, Miguel? What? Do you, how many miles do you reckon this run is? Uh, half a mile. It's only half no. a mile. Yeah. Mile? It's a mile. Yeah. Gosh, it's a. It's probably like three miles, four miles, depending. Yeah, right. So it's not very long, but it's a good training wheels run. Yeah, and we got like a nice little highway that runs directly along the beach with no traffic. No traffic. We've got beautiful California conditions. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually... My head is not that long. Four, mi four miles? It's like three to four miles. Well, I should have put the odometer on right yeah. now. Because that's Seaside over there, and that's about two miles, I would say. Like, because a mile is ten blocks. So that, if you see Seaside right there, that's like at least, that's two miles from here. And then Swami's is about a mile and a half, two miles from here. I'll be able to check it on my watch. I'll be able yeah. to track it on my watch. It's probably going to be like a mile and a half. And yeah. Like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to call it four miles. <laughs> <laughs> Did you first downwind too? No. I've only done it with a ski. I mean, I've gone a while, but I this is my first downwind over a year since my knee injury. Oh, right. So this is, uh, yeah. So it'll be fun. Okay. Worst and case scenario, I'll just do shore runners. I'll just catch a bunch of waves and go all the way down. Well, that's what we're doing. It's pretty much a shore runner. I don't think yeah, we're going to get too I wanna, far. I want to talk strategy yeah, here. What, what's the plan? So you just go so as, as, as far as you what, can go? What, I, what I'm going to do, uh -huh. not that I know the strategy yet. It's my first time doing it here. But um, yeah. work your way diagonally slowly. Okay. There's no point cutting directly straight into the headwind 
and trying to get far out. Like just work your way slowly, but don't ride the swell directly back into the beach. Like ride the swell a little bit yeah. and then cut out a little bit. Ride okay. the swell a little bit, cut. It's like, it's like just going back and forth like snakes and ladders. And then until you kind of get in line where you see swamis and then just go directly downwind. And that's when you can have fun and you just like literally just go straight. All right. Yeah. That's, right, the, that, that's the game plan. And if you get nervous and like you think that you're not gonna be able to stay on that swell, cut off. Always peel off. Never try and hunt the one in front. Never. You're not gonna chase it. Like you're just you're way better off if you get in trouble, peel off and look what's behind you. Because if you keep pumping straight with the swell, you're gonna stay with that gap that you're always gonna be not in the spot. So if you peel off, you're gonna be. Yeah, exactly like you would do it with your wing. When you drop your wing, you just kind of, yeah, sorry. Alrighty, here we go. Shore runner from Seaside Swamis. First, first take. <laughs> take one. <laughs> we got a little chip in. We got, we, yeah, we got the lifeguard ready to save us. We got a little chip in here. Let's see how we go. All right, here we go. Oh. Pretty thick. Woo! Here we go. Wow, moving. Moving through these bumps. Bit different to uh, the old sup. Tell you what, I'm safety surfing. Nervous to uh, to come down because I'm probably like not that far off the beach to chip back in. But yeah, I'm just like moving through these bumps, riding swells and getting these like cross chops from the wind. Just trying to fall into the troughs of them. Here we go, here's another trough. Here we go, there's a big one coming. Oh, the big one. I'm running the 13 mile in here with um, a negative 0.25 shim. Alright, we're off. 
I think I potentially got some seagrass on my wings. Oh, there, it's gone now. Alright, second run. And um, had a bit of trouble at the start, so I seaweed wrapped around, so I came down, took it off. But um, now I'm cruising, seaweed blue. And um, I'm enjoying this much better than my first one. Um, first thing I rode was a prototype. It was just, yeah, it was fast, it was great, but it wasn't fun. Like, this is much nicer now. I'm just going tap, tap, glide, and I can actually start. Woo! Wow, actually, this one kind of feels. Whoa! This one kind of feels faster. Oh, it's strange. This one's got a way better that one. I'm trying to find the other boys because I finished the first run and I couldn't see him, so ran back up to the top, got my car, and I'm on the second run now. I'm trying to see if I can see him out here. Wow, because this is getting better. Charlie, I did you the thanks great. That's it. That's it. Now cruise. You're hunting swells too much. What? You're hunting swells too much. Fuck, you're moving. Pretty much there, too quick. over to the beautiful side of uh, Sunset Cliffs in San Diego just meeting up with um, Duke. Duke's the uh, lift rep and the Freedom Foil Boards rep. He's also in charge of the San Diego Foil Club. Linked up with him probably like three or four trips ago now and um, just awesome dude. Showed us a few spots. Always keen to foil and um, yeah linking up with him today. <laughs>
Cause you can't miss nothing that you never had Just as long as we're together Do any kind of weather I be a strong hard working Son of us, oh baby And I'm a good old family man That's what I conditions yeah. well so what 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 like was that a pretty stock standard session for the cliffs here it was a little wind swelly you know like there was a lot of waves coming in um, good chips at 250 300 yard long I feel like waves we were, back and forth so we were lucky we were lucky um, 
wasn't much seagrass or kelp like for this area usually yeah. like it's nearly unsurfable but today still able to pump around still yeah. able to connect i got hit a couple times on the kelp but um yeah now that got was... hit by my, my my board here come film that <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> that's a hematoman dude <laughs> Holy shit, Oil you should problems. go to the doctor for that. Oh, what's the ice? I feel like you need to like lance that and let the blood out. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now super fun session. Uh, it's like a little skate park. It's like just bowls and wedges everywhere. Yeah. All right, go get some lunch. All right, I just made it to Seal Beach. Uh, my favorite foil shop. To the foil shop. Here I'm meeting with um, Josh and his best mate, Patrick. You guys just act however you want to act. Act natural. Act natural. We're humping in the corner. So I just kind of wanted to show people like myself who have come to visit, it's a good place to kind of hang out, check out gear, um, and then test it in yeah. the best foil spot. Absolutely. Hey, I'm Josh. This is the foil <laughs> shop. Have to, you don't have to get too infomercial. Just yeah, be normal. Josh, <laughs> just be normal. Billy Mays Hayes yeah. here. <laughs> Flex seal. Flex seal. You get a t-shirt. Uh, I first came in, uh, in touch with you through the LA Foil Club. Yeah. Because um, I was trying to find people to foil with. I didn't necessarily needed gear, but I was just looking for mates to foil with. And I think through that group, I found you. I found Dirty Patrick. Yeah. Uh, Dirty Patrick. <laughs> And, and then just organically, you know, started hanging here. It's a great place to check out all the new different brands and kind of gear. And um, yeah, how's the experience been at the shop? You know, I, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I think that having guys like you come in from out of town is probably one of my favorite things. Cool. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, I started this shop just to pay for my own gear. Yeah. So I didn't have, so I could have cool new toys and uh, not have to spend a small fortune. I still spend a small fortune, but sometimes I can make that <laughs> money back, right? But no, I, I, I think it's great. I love having all the new stuff, like you said. The foil wall is always rotating. You yeah, know? so what, do you kind of go through different brands or do you stock the same ones all the time or tell us what's happening? So the foil wall is kind of like the foil stock market. Yeah. Not only is it my, my own quiver, so the foils up here are meant to ride. You come in here, you grab a foil, you take it out, you try it out, and if you want to take it home with you, you take it home with you. Um, that's how it's set up. Try before you buy, right? I went into a surf shop down the street and I wanted to buy foils and they had them, but they didn't know what, what I should get and I didn't want to spend three grand on a setup and then take a gamble. So set up the shop so people can come in. I can talk to them about what they're currently riding, what they're working on, what they want to do with foiling, you know, and set them up with new gear that's going to help them level up. So I like, like my I think I sent a friend here once and what the process is, they leave a deposit with you and yeah. they can literally try before they buy pretty much. Yeah. So basically in, in the States, we can use Venmo. Just yep. pass the money back and forth easily. Uh -huh. um, and that way the, the routine is, yeah, you, you kind of pay for it with no strings attached. Yep. So you pay for it, you take it, you ride it. If you bring it back, I Venmo you back the money, no problem. Right. But if you love it, you never have to see me again. You know, and it's nice because now guys can come in from out of the country, they pay for it, and if they take it home with them and it's gone forever, it's fine, they've already paid for it. Yeah. Um, and then what if you're like a surfer who's never foiled before, yeah. and he's like super curious? So we've got lessons, I've got demo gear. I've got used gear that's it's okay if it gets beat up. Um, I've got really old foils. If somebody only wants to spend two or three hundred bucks, I've got gear that they could buy for only a few hundred dollars. Right. It might not be the most high-end foil or the most current model, but there's always stuff out there. Just get in the water, hey. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the gear that was made four or five years ago was made for short borders that were just making the transition. And now all the foils, the high aspect foils, and all this stuff made for guys that already foil. Right. So it's, I don't know, there's something for everybody. Yeah, and then you're probably, 
sort of specialize in, would you say, the prone setup? Well, proning's what we have right out front. Yeah. So we've got Seal Beach River Jetty here. That's super fun. And um, we're able to, we've got a lot of prone boards. I've got some wing stuff in stock. We have, you know, plenty of wind in the summer. And so, but I'm not a kite shop. A lot of the kite yeah, shops yeah. dominate that wind market. So yeah, I, I prone mostly and I love, you know, setting guys up on the prone stuff. And the surf. Perfect. So I think um, the three of us, we're about to go for a downwind. Uh, what, Huntington to, where are we going, Pat? Uh, Huntington and Newport. Nice. Um, do you want to intro yourself, Pat? You're the um, local legend here. <laughs> I, I, okay, don't worry. I'm very, I'm, 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 I'm into this. Yeah. Patrick, Patrick Israel, foil of Yeah. All yeah. right. I was just in Florida and I got hit up by people over there going, hey, you're the meme king. <laughs> and I went, you know what? I am the meme king. <laughs> Suck it, Connie. I'm the meme king. <laughs> um... But yeah, yeah. We're, gonna go, we're gonna go send a run from the pier in Huntington to probably 56th Street, Newport with uh, another legend, with the actual legend, Brady Hurley. Um, that oh, is he coming? Bob Hurley's grandson. Huge. Yeah. He's gonna go and teach us how to actually downwind. And we're gonna try not to fall and land in the poop water. That's the real goal. It's probably heaps of trash in the water too, hey? Tons. Probably so. more trash than water at this point. <laughs> if you're coming to California, you wanna learn how to downwind. This is a safe place because I don't make any of the runs. So basically, <laughs> these guys make it and I stash a car halfway in between so I can basically just float half the way there and cool. make it work. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. Well You said you didn't want to hurt her You'd break it to her slow Is this pretty stock standard conditions? Is this like what you guys get most often? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wind-wise, the wind's probably a little bit better But overall conditions-wise, this is gonna be madness Why? There's, there's gonna be more garbage than water <laughs> <laughs> So, like all of you guys in Hawaii and Australia and wherever else you are downwinding like, we literally have to dodge like mattresses <laughs> and stuff like that through the water. The other day we did this run like while it was raining and we hit a patch uh, like where there's a river mouth exit where like the, the water just rushes out and you could feel the drag increase from the water being so much thicker. Like it went, the color changed and I was like, that looks kind of weird. And I hit it and it was like, you know, uh, like it pulled me down. I'm gonna avoid that. Two brown water for sure. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, so I was I was planning on avoiding it last time, and I fell right into it because it pulled me down. Ugh. And uh, then you just close your mouth and hold your breath. <laughs> so it's like it's it's kind of said here in this like LA area that you don't really go in the water after it rains. Hey, how how long do you usually wait? So the the health officials recommend seventy two hours. And uh, it was just raining like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so, we're good, we're good. Do you have earplugs? I, I always wear earplugs okay. because I have like the surfer's ear. It's yeah, like, yeah. Mine is 97% occluded. Yeah. So I have to plug up all the time. But yeah, talk about the conditions. Like the, so we're facing west and the swell and the winds both coming from the north. Uh, yeah, so we're actually facing southwest. Yeah. The wind is coming out of the northwest. So it's kind of like a side on side on um, it's uh, so you're cutting against into the wind the whole time pretty much yeah so like we always just say going right like yeah. you have to there's go no, right there's no left is yeah because there... if you go left you know as soon as you start going you know like straight on a wind bump you're coming back to the beach you're right you know, like like right away so it is kind of hard to cut out to see because you're going into the wind yeah i mean you're cross all, in yeah you're always cutting out and yeah. you're just going down the beach yeah right and so like some people like h dip uh, give me crap for <laughs> for uh, shore running. He's like, oh, you didn't get out far enough. That didn't count. And I go, first off, you can't even downwind at all. <laughs> so let's not talk too much. <laughs> and second, I tried. Yeah, I really tried. Like I'm, no, cut I'm cutting right the whole time, and I'm just going nowhere. It's testing conditions. It's hard. Yeah. Cross cross onshore is fucking. I don't enjoy those conditions. You're just lucky you don't have any like cliffs and shit that are refracting swell. So. 
That's yeah, the one. I mean, the only thing that we have is like the river mouths. So like when you go past river mouth, you definitely feel a change in the flow. Like the other day when I went through it, I could feel it go pulling down from the thick water, but I could also feel it tipping sideways from the current rushing out sideways against me. Right. Yeah. Okay. But today's pretty good. What is it? Like 15 knots? Right now it's probably blowing like 20. 20 knots. Yeah. All right, we're on. We got white caps. And the swell, when I went past Huntington, it looks fucking big. Yeah, like it's no. at least like five, six foot. It's going to be, it's going to be chest, uh, chest plus chips for sure. Yeah. So, you know, the fun part is like, you have to use kind of a bigger foil here to, um, to make it out because mm -hmm. you have to pump out to the wind line a little bit. Oh, there's Josh. Yeah. Um, so you got to use a bigger foil and then to, but you're using that bigger foil on like a gnarly chip. Yeah. yeah. So like you're starting off. Hey loser. <laughs> wow. right, found a groupie. On the progression oh, no, item on I the I haven't side. been on the website yet. Did it come out all right? Yeah, great. Oh, you used his pictures? You didn't even use mine? <laughs> he didn't want you. Yeah, it's nice for you. It's kind of like your local brand, right? Yeah. The only thing that annoys me, well, not annoys me, I don't really care, but like, um, the car that like you have to dodge mattresses and shit. So whatever my truck's right there if you're at it. Okay. fucking fell probably a kilometer into the run pathetic effort I know I'm just using a new mask so it's a bit shorter than what I'm used to and just fully breached so I've done the paddle in wait for the next chip all right we're back on so oh, I got a bit of fog on the top but um got the little chip nearly just ran over a steel pretty crazy but um yeah look we're doing well Woo. If you believe you've been getting satisfaction, you've been deceived. Come on, baby, check this action. All right, found my rhythm now. Just kind of cruising through these bumps and lumps. There's a little bit of cross chopping shit going on and obviously like the good time of rest is when you turn on the swell and head back to the beach. But um finding my rhythm for sure. This prototype wings is gliding to it, look. Alright, this is weird. We just met up with the poo brown water. Feels definitely slower than the in the seawater. I honestly don't know where the the wedge is. That's what I'm worried about. I can see it. Pretty sure it's the wedge here. Uh, jetty, sorry. You can make it cause I'm a ding dong ring a ding and hip swinging red hot sun kissing something else. I can love you so tough. I'll have you screaming. That's enough. I'm just too much and I can't help myself. I'm gonna make the ego sound. 
And we made it. The wedge. New port wedge. Woo. Bit of refraction here, which is reminding me of home. I think just bouncing off that jetty. We got Brady coming in. Woo! Put these uh, plastic things on my on my trailer. Mm -hmm. to help it slide. So I can't undo this. It wants to slide back. If I were to undo it, the thing would just slide off. So I'm still trying to work out the tuning of this uh, Katie Marlin 13 inch tail. Um, I started off obviously at zero shim and then I found that it was giving me a little bit too much lift so I put it down to a negative 0.25 shim now and as you can see the nose is dipping a little bit but I found that it kind of yeah, it helped through these turns. So. I've kind of landed on that.
Bobby, introduce yourself. Hey. <laughs> you actually don't have to get too, too like formal. Too formal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm Bobby Rodriguez, Bobby Keys. Um, I do some repping for Axis. Um, I'm gonna ride the 999, 300 tail, and the uh, per, um, advanced fuse, crazy short, and maybe get some waves here. What's your day-to-day -day job? I'm in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> and you live in LA? I slang houses. If you yeah. know, needs a house, just hit me up. Yeah. Need an appraisal. <laughs> um, is Seal your go-to? Um, it, it is the go-to in the summer whenever there's a south swell. Yeah. In the winter, I tend to go, this year I hit sunset. Like That's your sunset. original spot, dude. That's where I first got in contact with That's you. That's right. Yeah, they're I, first point. And so first point's more of a summer spot, too. Yeah. In the winter, you get the sunset days. I remember. I probably got 20 days with no one out. Yeah, right. I remember before I think I knew you, who was it? It was, I don't know if it was your brother, but he showed me, someone showed me clips of you and your brother chipping in at sunset and chasing each other down the point. Yeah. And then I think that's when I just like randomly hit you up. I was like, yo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you shared that footage, but that's cool. That was awesome. You're still on the Amos. I am. Yeah. High flyer. Is this um, Kenny's board? Yep. This yeah. is Kenny's. Cool. Yeah, I gotta... You still loving it? I still love it. Yeah. It works great. I mean, it's such a board for Amos is talking about getting boards made here soon. Really? Yeah. Without yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, I mean, it's the second Amos board I've had in a row. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Sick. I'm selling mine to Joe. Did you tell you? My brother? Yeah. No way. Like, I'm not bringing that board back. It's staying here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but it's this seen it's seen place. better days. Yeah, it looks like you've done some damage. Though. Yeah. What which uh, model is this? This is the uh, Raptor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Mm. I noticed he, he jumped on that. <laughs> <laughs> I let him know because he he literally hits me up like nonstop, always giving me info, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, it's the least I could do. Yeah. And then he was like, what do I what do I owe you? And I was like, just give me what you want, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing um? Uh, Editorial stuff for foiling mag. Yeah, so Sick. Friday pump, like, yeah, right. Uh, with the generic foiling podcast. Uh, yeah. We, we all do. And then um, we also do like testing. Cool. Stuff, so this is like a test. Oh, so this is like your review. This is my review. Shit. Yes. So yeah, Ryan's writing exactly. the new uni stuff. It's got a katana mask. What, progression? 140 and a 170. Sick. And Patrick's chop tail. The shift, yeah, I don't know if I it trust that. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really like it. It's really intuitive. Um, what's going on, Chris? Talk us about what you're doing. Still in the still in the lift lift setup. Classic lift setup. Yeah, just going for more wave time. Have you tried all the new um, lift wings? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, I think lift seventy is a. Uh, in favor right now. Yeah, right. The tow version or the high aspect version? The high aspect version. Yeah, right. Nice. All around favor right now with the 25 tail. Have you seen Patrick's Instagram post? No. No. Oh, go uh, open it. Oh, let me what is it? Yeah, oh, <laughs> all your help. Did you film that? No. Who the fuck filmed it? <laughs> Is that good or what? That's so good. <laughs> Yeah.
shims and I don't write any shim at all. It's all just straight flat. Is that the one too? Nah. He's the guy with oh. it. Yeah, right. He's like, I want to review those. I think they look good. Alright, take my gear. <laughs> so I just picked it back up from him yesterday when I was coming down and then work made me head up having to work. But I'm a winger. I need wings. <laughs> Hammer Bobby!
Go. What have we got? Uh, just is, my whole life. Is it 10 bags? Just about. <laughs> they don't have surfboards in them. That's full of Barrett's life. <laughs> See you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>